The disappearance of Maria from the mirror implies that she is gone, and Aram is stuck in the real world permanently, leaving her to face. Hi drama nerds, welcome back. The film begins with an ultrasound that seemed normal, but soon another fetus appears on the screen, revealing that they are twins. The protagonist is Maria Brennan, a 17-year-old teenager who is in high school. Maria seems to have a normal life, she lives in a nice house and has parents who love her, but in fact, her life is full of problems. She suffers harassment and exclusion at school, especially from Mark, a class she does not have a typical social life for her age and only has one friend. After having breakfast with her parents, Maria leaves the house and lights a cigarette as soon as she walks away from them. Maria meets up with her friend Lily, who is also smoking. Together they go to school, where they watch a hockey game. Lily makes a joke and interrupts the game to kiss her boyfriend Sean. Maria has a secret passion for Sean, but Lily doesn't know it. After school, Maria comes home and has dinner with her parents. The atmosphere at the table is very tense, as her mother, Amy, suffers from depression and takes several kinds of medications and has mental problems. Her father, Dan, is a surgeon. He is cold and very demanding, especially when it comes to appearances. Her mother excitedly shares about an old childhood friend, George, whom she met again that day. And Maria says she doesn't remember who he is, and Maria rejects her mother's invitation to go to the dance with George. Her father gets angry because of her attitude towards her mother, making her feel bad and run from dinner table. When she leaves, her parents talk about how she has isolated herself. And her father, obsessed with the image, she complains to her mother that he is ashamed of how Maria behaves at home and at school, even going so far as to say that she has no future. They don't know that Maria is on the stairs listening to what they say. She is hurt by what she hears and runs to her room, sobbing. Looking in the mirror, she notices something sticking out from the edge. She takes it with tweezers and discovers an old ultrasound showing twins, the same ultrasound seen at the beginning of the film. This leaves Maria perplexed, but she soon forgets about it. At the end of the night, Maria is in the bathroom, sitting next to a huge mirror, when suddenly, her reflection acts on its own, turning to look at her. She notices it and gets scared, falling off the counter. Taking courage, she approaches the mirror, removes the steam and sees that her reflection, in fact, the reflection is smiling sinisterly at her. The next morning, Maria's parents are in the kitchen having breakfast. She tries to talk to her father about what happened in the bathroom the night before, but seeing how she is, he interrupts her, saying that she should take better care of herself and be kinder and nicer. Hurt, Maria returns to her room to get ready. In her bathroom, while she puts on her makeup and giving a touch to her hair, her reflection seems to move on its own. She bends down to wash her face when her reflection raises its head before her, but Maria doesn't see it and goes down to have breakfast. Maria then walks to the bus stop and freezes when she sees her stalker, Mark, waiting for her there. He smiles and waves for her to get on the bus, but before she can react, her friend Lily arrives with her new car, makes an obscene gesture at Mark and gets into Lily's car. They go to pick up Lily's boyfriend, Sean, and head to school. Later at school, Maria is in the hallway with her friends when she loses her balance and falls. Mark laughs at her, making Sean come to her defense. Sean asks her if she's okay and she says yes, receiving an envious look from Lily. At night, Maria is in the bathtub. She submerges completely in the water and has a blurry, terrifying vision of a woman giving birth. Her birth. Then she leaves the house when she realizes that she cannot go to a sleep. Maria hears a voice coming from the house. She says she can't fall asleep. She then goes to the bathroom and, upon entering, sees her reflection with her back to her. She says she can't fall asleep. She says she is dreaming. She says none of it is real. Maria wants to know who owns the voice, and the voice replies that it is her usual companion. The voice is called Aram, and it promises Maria that it can make her pain go away. Aram is everything that Maria is not. While Maria is reserved and insecure, secure, Aram is outgoing and confident. Maria praises Aram saying that she is beautiful, but Aram replies, we are beautiful. Throughout the conversation, Maria feels more comfortable with Aram and doesn't afraid of her. The next day, Mara is having breakfast with her parents and she is very changed. Her parents notice the difference in her attitude and congratulate her for it. Her mother says she is beautiful and shows pride. Maria then tells her parents that she decided to go to the dance after all. Her parents are happy with this news. Maria begins to behave differently at school, leaving her friends Lily and Sean intrigued by her new stance. She reveals to Lily that she wants to try ice skating for the winter dance. She also tries to get closer to her father, Dan, with whom she has a difficult relationship. She accompanies him in his clinic and sees how he works. She ignores her lover's presence, making her oblivious. After work time, they go to the movies together. On the way back, they meet Mark, the boy who torments Maria at school. Mark acts like, as if she were a friend of Mara. In the car, Dan reveals to Maria that he giving her an early birthday present. Upon arriving home, Maria talks to Aram in the bathroom mirror. 
The next day, in her father's office, Mari is scared when she discovers that the birthday gift her father had in mind it was plastic surgery to change her appearance to make her prettier or make her the way he wants. Mari is devastated and runs out of the office. At home, Mara disarmed, she talks to Aram about her problems with the people around her, making Aram angry and indignant at everyone who hurts Maria's feelings and she says she wants to defend Maria in any way. Hearing this, Maria feels better and more confident, she takes comfort in Aram's presence. Suddenly, her mother, Amy, walks into the bathroom and quickly realizes that there is something wrong with her daughter after talking to her. Worried, she talks to her husband about it, but she is despised by him who does not want to get involved in Mare's problems. Maria and Lily are having fun in ice skating class, but Mara slips and falls. She can't get up on her own, but Lily doesn't help her. On the contrary, she laughs at Maria and leaves her behind. Maria returns home and talks to Aram, her reflection in the mirror. Aram says that Lily is not a real friend, but Maria doesn't want to believe it. She becomes sad when she realizes that Aram is right about Lily. Aram becomes increasingly angry with the people who hurt Maria. She consoles Maria and tells her that she deserves more. The day of the dance arrives, but things don't go as Mara expected. The dance is on the same ice rink where Mara fell. She's afraid to go in, but Sean, Lily's boyfriend, takes her by the hand and leads her to dance. Suddenly, she trips and is attacked and humiliated by Mark, her attacker. After returning home, sad and humiliated, Mara has another conversation with Aram about what has happened. Aram persuades her to make an exchange with her to alleviate Maria's suffering, and Mara accepts, placing both hands on the mirror and sealing her image with a kiss. Now, Maria is trapped in the mirror, while Aram takes control of her body. Meanwhile, her mother Amy is having a horrible dream in which she is giving birth to herself. Back at school, Aram is in command of Maria's core and is noticeably more safe. Mark tries to threaten her, but Aram responds and scares him. Lily then apologizes for not helping Maria at the dance. At the end of the day, Aram goes to his father's office and tells him that he misses him. He is surprised by this attitude, but prefers not to give it importance. At the entrance, Aram gets the contact of her father's mistress and asks Amy to find her, exposing the problems in Amy and Dan's marriage. However, Amy already knew that she was being deceived. Maria, who is still trapped in the mirror, is horrified by what Aram is doing and orders her to stop. Aram replies that everyone has to pay for what they did to Maria. Later, at school, Aram decides to take revenge on Mark, taking him to the bathroom and breaking his leg. Shortly after, Aram decides to learn how to ice skate and goes to train with Lily. Maria is getting better at skating and this makes Lily happy, but she also feels that Maria is more confident and arrogant. Suddenly, Aram, who is the opposite of Maria, attacks Lily on the ice and knocks her down. Lily dies after hitting her head hard on the ground. On the night Lily dies, Maria discovers the evil things Aram has done and asks her for changing their places, but Aram does not accept and continues with her revenge. At Lily's funeral, Aram pretends to be sad and receives support from Sean, the boyfriend from Lily. Aram then decides to win over Sean. One day, they decide to skip class and go to a hotel. There, Sean receives a call from the police who want to speak with him and with Maria. Aram doesn't want to go, which makes Sean suspect that she may have something to do with Lily's death. They fight while Sean tries to leave, but Aram kills him with a drink bottle on the head. Regretful of what she caused, Aram goes to the bathroom to look for Maria's reflection and they both lament and devastated by what happened. Meanwhile, Amy continues to have her life in danger and waiting for what will happening. She is experiencing more bad dreams about childbirth. In her nightmare, it is shown that Maria really had a twin sister, but she was thrown away by Dan due to the girl's physical abnormalities. Amy spends the rest of her life grieving over the loss of her other daughter, which leads to her depression. Afterwards, Aram leaves the motel and goes to Dan's desk. She pretends to be drunk and confronts him. She strips completely naked and asks him if he thinks she is beautiful and if he would still love her or if she is still deformed. He claims that yes, his love for her remains, but Aram becomes furious as she remembers what he did with his other daughter. Without thinking, she grabs a surgical instrument and runs it through Dan's neck. He falls to the ground bleeding, while Aram sobs and questions why he doesn't love her. Afterwards, Aram looks in the mirror, but she no longer finds Maria in her reflection. She hits the mirror, shattering it, but still, Maria does not appear, terrified, sad and alone. She returns home and lies in bed next to her mother. Several mirrored images show Maria and Aram together in bed with their mother. Maria on one side and Aram on the other, suggesting that Maria and Aram now inhabit the same body, with their fate uncertain. At the beginning of the movie, I always thought that Aram is a manifestation of the thoughts Mare's negative feelings that made her torture herself, but I surprised by the ending. What do you think of the film? Subscribe for more videos like this and leave a like, it helps a lot to the channel.